Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you how I made a dynamic normal setup for my Nero rig. Uh, I have to ask you to excuse me for my English, I'm not a native speaker, so... Uh, okay, let's jump right in. I'll show you the result and then briefly uh, explain how I made it so you can test your own rigs and your own setups later. For example, uh, when we have our joint setup here, and I can show you how it works. So if I move brow control up, uh, you see how these creases appear, although it's just normal. They do not deform geometry, but if you have uh, your mesh with, if your mesh is not so high poly, it could work for you. Or you have the like game build rig, so it will also work. And you don't have to use any additional blend shapes. And if you move it down, and here you can see additional creases here in the nose area. So you can use a lot of the stuff to create any emotions. And also, as you see near the eyes, this, this wrinkles. Okay. So now let's see how it works. I have here my material. Here, it's called head mat. And as usual, we have diffuse. Uh, specula, whatever textures you use, I don't know. Uh, the interesting part begin here is with bump. Uh, usually you just set up bump with normal map, one normal map, and that's it. Here we have what it's called uh, blending layer, layer textures. So we see this node is just usual layered texture node here. Um, you create as many inputs if you want just by clicking and setting up the color for each input and the mode how in which they are blending. For this setup you need two normal maps. Uh, one is your regular head normal and on top of it we have what I called compressed normal. I mean with all the wrinkles and everything else. Uh, this normal map was created in ZBrush. I just manually sculpt all the wrinkles that I want. You can do it in any way you want to create a normal map. And I paint it in Photoshop, whatever. And here I have a set of masks for this compressed map. They serve, if you look closer here, uh, you can see the color. And 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 end. Here, you can see color and alpha for each input. Here, for a comp compressed compressed normal is on top, and the blend mode is set to over. And this mask set masks some particular part of normal map that we want to use. For example, for a forehead, we have a mask. Let me show you. Oh, quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They just regular Photoshop masks. Forehead, um, the eye, range, mouth, nose, and whatever. You can divide them in whatever way you want. And here, mask is also layered. So we have many, many, many inputs. Forehead, nose, upper, left side, right side, eyes, mouth, and so on. For smile and fringe. To each input, I connect the mask that masks some special area. All of them have light and mode. All of them. It's important. So when you... How, to, how you usually uh, work with these masks? You take one mask and by working with its color gain. If it's black, it's just totally black, so it doesn't mask anything. Uh, or, excuse me, it actually masks everything. You don't see any wrinkles. By connecting its color gain to some parameter, for example, I connect it to a distance, it appears the color gain is white and mask is working. So let me show you here. The forehead. If we work with its color gain, you see it appears and disappears. 
So, look in this setup, everything works the same, it's just many, many, many masks. And uh, how I made it, you can actually drive this uh, normals by blend shapes, by controls, movements, whatever you decide works best for your rig. What I made is a set of uh, distances that are measuring distance between some particular vertices in the head mesh. As you see, my, hash, my head mesh is not so high poly. For example, if you move this controller up and you see that the distance between brow and lower eye part decreases, it works on these wrinkles in the eye corner. I don't know how to show you better, probably from this angle, you see? I hope so. Or if you... I need to turn on my secondary controllers for face. If you move parts of your nose up, you see, let me see, works. you see how this wrinkle appear. They work like that. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching. And I hope it helps.